I'm Kimberly Howard Wade, and I want to thank you for pressing play and taking a few minutes to watch this video, because we are honoring an incredible woman, Julie Diamond, who was a fervent supporter of giving within and beyond the Jewish community, and who passed away recently from a rare cancer she'd been fighting since 2018. Julie was president and CEO of the Oregon Jewish Community Foundation. She joined the foundation in 2007 as development director and took the reins of the organization in 2010. While she was there, Julie guided the foundation through unprecedented growth, granting more than $80 million into the community and created transformational programs, including Life and Legacy, Endowment Book of Life, Giving Council, Professional Advisors Group, and PJ Library Portland. And that's why Julie won the Allen Price Award for Distinguished Service to the fundraising profession this year. To share more about Julie, here is Josh Frankel, Oregon Jewish Community Foundation Board Chair. Julie was the CEO of the Oregon Jewish Community Foundation, so her leadership was just tremendous. But I think what I will always cherish about Julie is how much she cared. Um, there's the old line that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And I think Julie demonstrated that better than anyone I've met. She cared about the donors, she cared about their families, she cared about their lives. And that, that was true for everyone she worked with, no matter how much money they donated or no matter how much money they had in their fund, it was about the person and their story. And that just meant the world to Julie. And that's what motivated her and inspired her to do her good work on a daily basis. I chaired the board the last two years, which obviously was a tremendous honor. And so I worked with Julie closely during some of her greatest challenges personally. And I can tell you that no matter what she was going through personally, she cared about the foundation. And we had many conversations when she was in a hospital bed, whether it was in Seattle where she got treatment or in Portland. And we were all asking her what we could do for her and her family. And she wanted to know about the foundation. She wanted to know about donors. She wanted to know about programs. She wanted to know about our life and legacy. She wanted to know about our youth foundation, our professional advisors group. So no matter what adversity she faced with her illness, she was always thinking about the foundation and how we could grow and how we can get better. And I will always cherish my friendship with Julie. She's going to miss, be missed greatly by lots and lots of people. And we're gonna do our best to continue her legacy of philanthropic giving. If I could say one thing to Julie today, I'd say I love you and thank you for everything that you've done for our community. Thank you for sharing your time with us. Thank you for balancing your personal life with your family and, and with the community. We, we will truly cherish everything that you've given to us. So thank you. In July, Julie shared some thoughts with us from her home in Portland when she found out she won her award. I wanna thank the Association of Fundraising Professionals of Oregon and Southwest Washington for this beautiful honor of the Allen Price Lifetime Achievement Award in Philanthropy. I couldn't be more thrilled to be part of the legacy of Allen Price and all the other outstanding people who have contributed to our community, its strength, and the greater good. The AFP does amazing work for this profession of fundraising and development to make a community of people who can learn and grow together network and enjoy the many, many profound aspects of this wonderful work. I have been so thrilled to be in fundraising and philanthropy because it's so marvelous to help individuals find their way to the right kind of gift, the right kind of contribution in a way that is rewarding and will make a, big, make a difference in the community. I have found that this this work is way more entrepreneurial than I had imagined at first. 
which has made it in part just so exciting and new things around the corner all the time. And now that I've retired, I'm very eager to see what comes next, who will bring the next set of fresh ideas to the community and to respond to the many, many community needs that uh, exist and are around us perhaps more than ever. It's hard to know, but um, certainly we have our share of things to tend to for our for the safety, security, and justice of all people in our communities. In Judaism, in the Talmud, there's a saying, whoever practices justice and charity fills the world with loving kindness. And justice and repairing the world are two core values in Judaism. And these have inspired me all along the way to do this work, to make a difference, and to be a, be a partner to other individuals, organizations, and community leaders. And it's been a wonderful experience. Uh, just a last expression of my gratitude. I want to thank Josh Frankel, the board chair of the OJCF, all of our fantastic board leaders and dedicated professional team. You all have helped make such a difference in the community. And again, to AFP for bringing together a strong, uh, thoughtful, and compassionate community of professionals in the fundraising and philanthropy profession. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. You will be missed. <laughs>